And so what I want to do is people are like, well, what's the paid training and why is it here? So there's 10 days of free training, getting you up to speed and getting you kind of introduced to this stuff. And then there is a really day, you know, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, the extra five days of training. That's paid training. What are we doing? I wanted to show this to you, what we're going to be working on. And so this was earlier today. I was running through this, showing people that we're in FileMaker, we're in FM Starting Point. And the idea is that Leland is taking this React technology, this React Native, which is a Facebook kind of platform, I would call it that. It's not really like people like, does it work on Mac? Does it work on Windows? We hate Mac. We hate Windows, whatever the issue is. It's Facebook. They don't care as long as you give them money and watch their ads. So you can use the same technology. When you're in React Native, you're coding in JavaScript. So everything we're teaching you for week one and week two is applicable here. So this is an application. This is what Leland's going to cover that extra week. This is, you're getting a preview here. And so what it is, we're looking at this. You click this application. I'm on the iPhone. We pop it up. This is a CRM front end for the iOS, and it would also work on Android for FM starting point, right? But it's kind of specific to this one. So notice how fast and simple and quick it is. Very, very quick, very, very nimble. And so what it's doing, though, is that the data, it's getting the data on the iPhone here from the FileMaker server using the data API. Right, So the data API is kind of like the XML gateway or the PHP gateway. It's how you use FileMaker server as an endpoint to get data out of it. So it's really, really great. So this is running on the FileMaker server. This app right here is running on my iPhone, but it could be on Android as well. And you have to use JavaScript. So this is definitely a pro code kind of conversation. This is kind of like the low code world right here. And this is the, what we call the progression of learning. I mentioned this frequently. So low code here, then you get these intermediate developers, which will, they'll do some low code stuff. They'll do some, what we call pro or professional code stuff. And so the area that we're training in, we're trying to get people in here to increase their skills with JavaScript to move up to pro code. So obviously for Android, there's not really a clearest answer for Android. So if you want an Android executable on the front end, you have very few choices. I could think of two choices. Live code is one option. React Native is the other option. But on iOS, you have another choice, which is just build it in FileMaker Go. So can you frame for me, Leland, why you would build a React Native application on iOS as opposed to using Go? Or would you use both? Or Mostly the answer to that question is, is what is your users going to expect? And what do you want your users to use? As you know, if you've used any sort of solution, in a FileMaker Go app, it doesn't feel native. It does its best to try to emulate native as well as it can, but there's limitations. And those limitations are inherent and they're there because FileMaker has made it as easy as possible for you to develop it not in a, a native application format or framework, but you're using FileMaker desktop app to create something that's meant to be used on mobile. So it's two different worlds. When you hold a React Native app in your hand, it's going to feel native. If you use React Native to create an application on iOS or Android, and you have FileMaker as your data back end, you get the best of both worlds. It is more work. There's a lot more to it. So the question is, is, is the juice worth the squeeze for you? That's a really great answer to that question. So if I write it once in React, native does it cross populate to both device platforms easily do i have to rewrite it separately for android how much work is that to jump from one to the other about the only difference that you would want to have in your mind while you're developing it would be your screen size so it would be do you ever plan on it being in a much larger device such as an ipad Besides that exception, the code base is identical across everything I just mentioned. So one code base solves all four of those. And actually, with a little bit of tweaking, you can make it work in a web browser and you can make it work on a desktop. So one code base. Yeah. So this is, once again, the idea of pro code versus low code. So if you build the experience, you have that going for you, then this is another tool in your tool belt. That's why we're providing the training. Week one and week two is to get you to the point where you can do this application is the whole idea. So that's pretty damn cool. So if you're interested in this training, that's where you're going to come down here 
and want to purchase this uh, down here for the extra week. So there you go. That's what this is all about.